Hey there, and welcome to day one of the Draw Juice 30 Day Art Challenge. I'm Chris Petraki, and the purpose of this challenge is to develop an art habit in your life, plain and simple. I adapted this art challenge from David Bellevue's 30 Day Art Challenge over at Paintable. So shout out to David. Now, this is day one, and the first thing we're going to do is draw a leaf. You can draw the leaf, you can paint the leaf, and I thought, um, for me, just to up the ante a little bit, I would try to draw the leaf in the style of one of my favorite artists. And I picked John Asaro. And you may know John Asaro from the Asaro head if you've studied portraiture at all. So we've got some of his work here on the left. And he's an awesome figurative illustrator. Um, beautiful figures, great anatomy, great brushwork and color. So I love what he does with the shadows. There is not a lot of information in the shadows. If you can see, they're just flat passages of color. So all the defining of form is in the lights and the shadows go flat. You can kind of check out his color scheme is kind of the secondary, right? It's violets, orange is greens. And he does another really cool thing with the shadows is, you know, if it's a cool color, then he'll warm up the shadows and make them a little bit red or orangey, right? As in these dancers, you can see, look at their noses, right? There's a little bit of, a lot of orange in there, some purple, and then the light is generally cool. And I love what he does deep in the shadows. It's almost like it's glowing there. So instead of going dark and black and kind of dead in the painting, he'll warm it up so that it looks kind of like flesh. It looks alive and there's there's sort of a, a place for your eye to um, focus on by doing that because it's warm color surrounded by cool color. And I think that is really neat. Um, you can see that here with um, the flesh and the subsurface scattering surface. The light is kind of going underneath the skin and scattering all around and then coming through with this nice orangey glow. And especially against the blue shadows, it makes the orange even more pure and brilliant. So I'm loving that. And I'm going to try and paint this leaf like that. So let's kind of jump in here. Okay, I have my reference at the top right, nice leaf, beautiful red color, and then the palette up at the top that I took from the Asaro paintings on the left. And I just want to take a moment to talk about a few things. The first one is done is better than perfect, and I have that written at the bottom of the page. Just get it done. It doesn't have to be perfect. Second thing is just breathe and look and relax and have a good time. And then just start drawing. Remember, you can draw, paint, black and white, color, it's all okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is wrap this thing in an envelope, tight like saran wrap, straight edges around corners, if you can imagine that. And that's just gonna help me get this thing on the page. It's gonna help me with proportions, going from big to small, starting with the big shapes first and getting down the overall impression. And then I'll go from the big shapes to the medium shapes and down to the small shapes. And I just want to get the average angles correct, the positioning correct before I jump into color, which I just did. So I'm going to, I think, use a complementary palette of secondary colors, orange, purple, and green, and then try to go around the color wheel and add as many colors as I can to try to capture John's beautiful colors and brushwork. So I'm really trying to stay loose and just scumble in some colors like I would with oil paint or watercolor. I've got a kind of a warm palette going on right now. I'm not color copying the colors exactly, but trying to infuse it with some John Asaro flair. 
and it looks like the light's coming from the top right. So I'm going to create a little bit of gradation from top right to bottom left. It'll be a little bit from light to middle light. And popping in some colors here into the leaves. Another person who does color so well was Kazu Seno, uh, the great Japanese illustrator who has passed away, unfortunately, um, probably about 10, 15 years ago. But he could put colors in the shadows just like John Asaro could and make them interesting and beautiful to look at. So the subject matter was beautiful and the shadows were beautiful. He was a master at that. So I'm almost kind of trying to go around the color wheel at this point. And if I get my values right, I can use just about any color. That's the trick. So if the values, the organization of values is correct and the shape language is correct, I'm going to be fine. And that gives me room to play because I kind of have control of my values. I can play with the color and I'm not so afraid. And I'm just um, boldly putting colors down and trying them out as well as sculpting the form of the, of the leaves. It's interesting. There's transitions between the half tones just before they go into the shadow, those dark half tones really um, become more saturated with color and detail. So I just want to put that in, in the transitional areas between what's in the light and where the shadow starts. It's a nice place to put um, some saturated color, a little bit more warmed up. And if it, you look at nature, you'll see that. You'll start to see it all around in the transitional areas around the, sh the shadow uh, and your art will become more interesting and uh, observing nature will become more interesting as well I promise it's just something that starts to happen automatically when you begin to sharpen your observational skills all right well we're really all over the place with the color on on that leaf on the right but it looks cool I like it I'm taking chances and I'm having fun. And now I'm going to really start to infuse the John Asaro cools in the shadows. That's the sort of glowy areas in the occlusion shadow areas and see if I can get it to, to do what his paintings do so well, which is they, they burn, they radiate out from the shadow areas. It's very cool. Really kind of my first time trying that in a while. So I managed to put some green in the shadow and some orange in the shadow. So that's pretty, pretty fun. And I used the lasso tool, which really helps to define the edges and hold the edges. And then you can just um, broadly paint your strokes in without worrying about going over the edge. So the last lasso tool is great for that. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and were inspired and are ready to jump in to your leaf drawing. Remember, you can draw, paint, black and white color. It's all good. If you want to join the challenge, head over to my Facebook page and join the, the group. Check out the link down below, and I'd love to have you there. The challenge starts today, February 10th, so I'd love to see you in the challenge. Let's get this art habit. All right, see you guys later.